Atlas V, is an expendable, medium lift, launch vehicle, and the fifth major version, in the Atlas launch vehicle family. Atlas, is a family of US missiles, and space launch vehicles, that originated, with the SM-65 Atlas. The Atlas, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Program, was initiated, in the late 1950s, under the Convair Division, of General Dynamics. The missiles, saw only brief ICBM service, and the last squadron, was taken off operational alert, in 1965. However, from 1962, to 1963, Atlas boosters, launched the first four, US astronauts, to orbit the Earth. Atlas V, was originally designed, by Lockheed Martin, now being operated, by United Launch Alliance, a joint venture, between Lockheed Martin, and Boeing. In August 2021, United Launch Alliance announced, that Atlas V would be retired, and all 29 remaining launches, had been sold. As of December 7, 2021, 26 launches remain. Each Atlas V launch vehicle, consists of two main stages. The first stage, is powered by a Russian, RD-180 engine, manufactured by Energomash, and burning kerosene, and liquid oxygen. The Centaur upper stage, is powered by one, or two American, RL-10 engines, manufactured by, Aerojet Rocketdyne, and burning liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. The Star 48 upper stage, was used, on the New Horizons mission, as a third stage, but generally, it does not use as third stage. AJ-60A, strap-on solid rocket boosters, are used in some configurations. In November 2020, they were replaced, by the Graphite Epoxy Motor SRBs. The standard payload fairings, are 4.2, or 5.4 meters, in diameter, with various lengths. The Atlas V, was developed by, Lockheed Martin, Commercial Launch Services, as part of the U.S. Air Force, Evolved Expendable, Launch Vehicle Program, and made its inaugural flight, on August 21, 2002. The vehicle operates, from SLC-41, at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and SLC-3E, at Vandenberg Space Force Base. The Atlas V first stage, the Common Core Booster, is 3.8 meters in diameter, and 32.5 meters in length. It is powered by, one Energomash, RD-180 main engine, burning liquid oxygen, and RP-1. RD-180, is a Russian-made rocket engine, with two combustion chamber, and two nozzles of the same engine. The booster operates, for about 4 minutes, providing about, 4 mega newtons of thrust. Thrust can be increased, with up to 5, Aerojet AJ-60A, or Northrop Grumman, Gem-63, strap-on solid rocket boosters, each providing, an additional 1.27 mega newtons of thrust, for 94 seconds. One of the main difference, between Atlas V, and earlier Atlas family rockets, like Atlas I, and II, is that, Atlas V, no longer uses, stainless steel balloon tanks, which needed continuous pressurization. Atlas V tanks, are isogrid aluminum, and are structurally stable, when unpressurized. You might have seen, the Atlas V rocket, drifting from the launch pad, during liftoff. That is, because of unsymmetrical placing, of solid rocket boosters, on the first stage. Due to which, there is more thrust, on one side of the rocket, than the other one, and the rocket will tip over, to one side. To prevent this, Atlas V main engine, gimbals, to control the thrust vector, and in turn, the rocket gets drifted away, from the launch pad. But you might ask, why did they put, the solid rocket booster, unsymmetrical, and not symmetrical? The answer is, that they can't, do that, do the design of the rocket. When engineers, were originally designing the rocket, they didn't anticipate it, that we might need, to add boosters to it. 
So, they put the oxygen feed pipe, and some other component, outside the core tank, due to which, United Launch Alliance, can't add boosters, wherever they want. But it's not an issue, as the rocket is able, to compensate for it. Atlas 5 second stage, is called Centaur. It is 12.68 meters tall, and 3.05 meters in diameter. It is powered, by either one, or two, Aerojet Rocketdyne, RL-10 engines, which uses liquid hydrogen, and oxygen. It delivers, a maximum of, 99.2 kN of thrust. The Centaur upper stage, uses a pressure stabilized, propellant tank design. It is one of the world's best, second stage performer, with highest thrust to weight ratio. The inertial navigation unit, located on the Centaur, provides guidance, and navigation, for both the Atlas, and Centaur, and controls both, Atlas, and Centaur tank pressures, and propellant use. The Centaur engines, are capable of multiple in-space start. Each Atlas V configuration, has a three-digit designation. The first digit, shows the diameter, of the payload fairing, which can have, a value of either 4, 5, or the letter N. N stands, for crew capsule launches, as no fairing is used, when a crew capsule is launched. The second digit indicates, the number of solid rocket boosters, attached to the base of the launch vehicle. It can have a value from 0, for no solid boosters, to 5, for 5 solid boosters. The third digit represents, the number of engines, on the Centaur upper stage, either 1, or 2. For example, an Atlas V, 551, has a 5 meter fairing, 5 SRBs, and 1 Centaur engine, whereas, an Atlas V, 431, has a 4 meter fairing, 3 SRBs, and 1 Centaur engine. The Atlas V N22, with no fairing, 2 SRBs, and 2 Centaur engines, was first launched, in 2019. The flight carried, the Starliner vehicle, for its first orbital test flight. On August 12, 2005, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, was launched aboard, an Atlas V, 401 launch vehicle, from Space Launch Complex, 41, at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. On January 19, 2006, New Horizons, was launched, by Lockheed Martin, Atlas V, 551 rocket. A third stage was added, to increase the heliocentric, or escape speed. This was the first launch, of the Atlas V, 551 configuration, with five solid rocket boosters, and the first Atlas V, with a third stage. On December 20, 2019, the first Starliner crew capsule, was launched, in Boeing Orbital Flight Test, an uncrewed test flight. The Atlas V launch vehicle, performed flawlessly, but an anomaly, with a spacecraft, left it in a wrong orbit. The orbit was too low, to reach the flight's destination, of International Space Station, and the mission was subsequently, cut short. Some notable payloads, launched by Atlas V, are Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, New Horizon, OSIRIS-REx, Boeing Starliner, Curiosity, Perseverance, and Ingenuity, Maven, Solar Orbiter, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, Juno, Lucy, InSight, and others. In 2014, due to geopolitical reasons, U.S. decided, to replace the Russian-made, RD-180 engine, used on the first stage, of Atlas V. After studying the situation, United Launch Alliance, came to a conclusion, on replacing Atlas V, with a new rocket, called Vulcan Centaur. In September 2014, ULA, announced a partnership, with Blue Origin, to develop the BE-4 engine, using liquid methane, and oxygen, to replace the RD-180, on a new first stage booster. It will be a partially reusable rocket, with recovering the first stage. 
it will replace ULA's current rockets, Atlas, and Delta IV Heavy.